All right, today we're going to talk about graphic design. We've been doing a lot of concept videos and theory videos, and I want to give you some practical advice. And a lot of you might use this for thumbnails, but it's applicable to almost any graphic you're going to create. This is a simple free tool. There's some paid options as well, but if you're like me and you're not very good with Photoshop or it just takes you an insane amount of time, I believe, if you've watched other videos, that we need to be kind of quick in what we do and get stuff out when it's something very important, great, spend weeks on it. When it's just the next social media post or the next thing, we need to be quick. And any time that I can get great results for very little time investment, I'm very intrigued. And so uh, a lot of times I'll use this for concept work. So even though I have graphic editors and video editors and stuff like that, if I need to get a concept across and go, hey, this is what I need, go ahead and use it. And half the time we end up using that thumbnail or that graphic anyway. And so here's the tool I have for you, and it's uh, you know not I don't get any commissions or anything like that, and it's called photojet.com. So we're gonna hop into a mode. You're gonna come along with me as we design some stuff, and I want to show you how easy this is to do. We are at photojet.com, and this is the free trial. Like it's not even a trial; you just never log in. Now I have had a paid account before, and there are some benefits there. Now you I've used them in the past. You get access to more things. It's pretty reasonably priced. Um, but what I want to show you is, you know, you can read all about it, but these are the things in which you can do on this website. So lots of graphic design, Facebook covers, logo design, magazine covers, sure. Photo montages, yep. Uh, a lot of video, or a lot of uh, actual photo editing. And that's, I'm going to show you that. That's, I think that is one of the key aspects we can use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the top, we're going to click design. We want to design something. And here is all the standard layouts, which is really nice because maybe you don't know what the default channel art should be 20, 2560 by 1440 pixels for a YouTube cover. Or maybe you need to make a Facebook cover. Or it's just a post where it's going to be square. Or there's Instagram. Or there's all this kind of stuff, right? So we're going to look down at marketing here. I'm going to go down one more and look at YouTube thumbnails because that's what we want to make. I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video, right? Makes sense. We click on that. And here we go. Now we've got the editor open. Now, there's lots of things you can play with. The first thing to know is anywhere you see this little crown, this is a paid option. So if you wanted to like work on it for an hour, save it and come back to it later, you can only do that with the crown, right? With the paid option. But we want to move faster than that anyway. So I'm just going to show you some things here. You know, so one we saw, let's say we want to do this one, you click on it. And now here is a, a default template that you could use. And let's say you just wanted something super simple. You come in here and you just want to change, um, you know, the text and you can change the colors and things like that. I have to go to the, I forget where, I normally build this from the get go. There we go. That's, you just got to double click in here. And so let's, you know, we could change this to, uh, you know, just like that. We, you know, you can do something very simple and that could be, this is a blog post. This could be a Facebook post. You just want to get people to click in on. And yes, you're going, well, maybe that font's not great. And you could start playing with different fonts. And we can do that with Word, though, he says. All right, but what if you hate the background? Like, what if we want to go to a different background? We can do that as well. We can go over here to backgrounds. And we can go, well, you know, I really like this brown one. Or I really like this one because it's Valentine's Day soon, right? And so you've got these options to play with that are all at a single click. Okay, so that's the very basic, you know, and maybe we want uniqueviewers.com down here. That's the, you know, the very basic. We can rotate fonts. We can do all that basic stuff that you're like, I can do that anywhere. I get that. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. I th well, let me delete all in one go here. Let's see. It won't let me ditch the background. So I'm just going to, I'm going to refresh. Will that do it for me? Yes. We're going to start over here because... I've got a certain thing I want to make. So another thing you can do is you can look at um, thumbnails or other templates, but these are not thumbnails, but uh, photos. These photos are free, which is nice. So we can come in here and, you know, I'm a business channel. Let's look at what we got for business. And we've got, you know, they're not always in the right orientation. You look at a, a picture like this and you're like, well, what am I going to do with that? Like uh, I could use it. If you're using it as part of a thumbnail. You can go, okay, well, that could be like one third of this if I needed this person. Um, but maybe you go, oh, well, what am I doing here? This is a classic. I'm building a website. I need to look like I'm powerful and I know what I'm doing. This will work. I've got a team of people now. Look at me, right? 
but we don't need that. But I did find one that I liked for this thumbnail that we're going to play with. And we got to scroll down a little bit right here. I like this one. And so this one's got an iPhone, which, you know, if you guys have watched the previous video, you know that I'm very big on phones in general. I've always got it right by me. In fact, I could probably build this thumbnail from this phone. But, you know, this kind of resonates with the crew that I want it to, the potential viewer. So let's go ahead and expand this. And you can see here that it was shot in a ratio that's not great for thumbnails. Thumbnails, I believe, are 16 by 9. And typically we use a different ratio for uh, cameras. So that's we're already at a disadvantage. But sometimes this is nice because it... it teaches you how to crop. So if you, well, I want all the iPhone in there. Great. Just move it up, right? You've got this shot. You can move with that. You can work on, I really want to focus on the pencil. I'm doing a review on the iPhone pencil. Okay. We'll put that in the shot. Um, but I want mostly the full shot. So we're going to come back down here and resize a bit more and get it to where I want it. We want it to be all the way left to right. So I had to go that far. And then I want as much of the iPhone as this image has. So it doesn't have it all, but it's got a lot of it. We've got the, the pencil and we've got an iPad, right? All right, so we've got a basic thing. And this kind of represents some design work. We've got an iPad, we've got an iPhone, people are filming on that, okay. We might need some text or some graphics. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at clip art. And a lot of the clip arts are, um, you know, not too helpful. Like some of the icons are, like I like the, the YouTube one. You know, so we can put that on there and you might want it in the corner. Let's say you're making YouTube thumbnails and that's what we're talking about right now. So maybe you go, let's put YouTube up there. Um, you could put other stuff there too, but a lot of them are really, really gimmicky. I mean, you got emojis and stuff like that, but you have to, or this one's like the comic book ones. You have to pay for them. Um, you have to have a, an account. We played with that, you know, a while ago, but normal basic emojis you could, you could have if you want there. So... Uh, but text is a real important one. And yes, you've got free text and you've got paid text, you know, so you don't get access to everything. Like they got to make money somehow. And I think it's like $3 a month if you buy it by the year. So it's like 36 bucks and you get a year's worth of this. Um, but I've used, I use this all the time. And so I find free ones that I like and you know what I'm trying to, so I like this one. Um, we've got, you can go through lots of different types of text, but it looks so simple to start. You're going, how does this actually build the thumbnail? And this is the key part I want to show you now is we kind of have a basic image and a lot of people might stop there and we've added a YouTube logo. Okay, maybe that's your logo. We've templated it, right? But the text part is where we really fall apart. And so what I want to do coming here is uh, I want to change, like we're, we're talking about making graphics easy. All right, so there we've got, you know, some yellow text. I want to make it a little bigger to look at it. And like, obviously this layout is terrible in that like, this is real sloppy work. So one of the things I want to do is I want to bring it on brand. And we're going to talk about that in a different video here, but I have my brand colors that we use. If you look at the banner of the YouTube channel you go, Oh, they're basically using whites, grays, and this uh, deeper, like darker red. And so because we're using that, we want to uh, play with some of the effects here. So one of the things is we can turn on or outlines on and off. I like an outline. It makes it stand out a little bit better. You don't have to. You can change it to a glow if you want. That, to me, it looks a little less polished, but hey, depending on the, the thumbnail and the, what you're trying to do. What I don't like is the black. You know, you can always come back here and you can radically change it. Let's make that green. Oh, that looks way different. Let's make that orange, red, right? Purple. You've got all these looks. And what is your look to your, you know, if you're more creative, you can get away with um, yellow and purple and maybe those are your colors or whatnot. But I know my colors are like a, a muted red and a white. So I want the outline to be red here. And if I click on this palette, we could make any color we want. And so I already know I've got the color I want right here. Let me go back. There we go. That's my red that I use. Great, we've got the outline. Now that red and yellow is not, I mean, it's it stands out for sure, but it's not exactly what we want here. So we're gonna go back to the font itself and we're gonna change that color from yellow and we're gonna use something like white. So it still stands out well, not too in your face, doesn't look too gimmicky, right? Uh, but we're still left here with, okay, you, you, could, you can move this. You don't want it in the bottom right if it's a YouTube video because the uh, timestamp's gonna cover it up and that kind of stuff. But look at the image itself and I think there is a nice fit in right here. Like, oh, if we can make it between this iPhone and this pencil, and you have that option because we can start turning the text. We can kind of start getting it into place there. Move it a little, oh, wrong way, a little bit more like that. 
And now we've got something like, hey, that's starting to look like that might be a decent thumbnail, right? And I don't know if we necessarily need the YouTube logo. I could put a different logo. Like maybe I'll put my shield there at some point. But um, that, you know, what are we? We're 10 minutes in and we've made a thumbnail and you learned how to use this. So let's say you like this thumbnail and this is the one. You would click download and you're going to save it. We're going to put, uh, you know, graphics. And you can save it in a couple different formats, PNG or JPEG. I prefer JPEG. Just hit the download button and then you click the download for free button is all you got to do and you save it and now it's on your computer ready for an upload what I do love about this it's in the perfect dimensions already and it's below two megabytes for a YouTube thumbnail so perfect no more work needed to be done right there that photojet is my opinion is a huge secret that I've kind of had for a couple of years now to make it really easy to make those Facebook posts to make those Instagram posts to enhance that picture outside of Instagram. Sometimes, you know, I've met creators that they take an image into Instagram, edit it a bunch, and then post it to Facebook or then use it on the community page in YouTube because the editing software there is really good and I love to edit at a computer. I love to have multiple versions. I like to have our team look at it and go, which one do we like? What will we change? And I think that's a good process for a lot of you guys. Being that it's absolutely free, and it will up your game. You know, if you're starting at the very basic, you're gonna leap ahead way a lot. If you're already a wizard in Photoshop, you probably don't get a lot out of this video, but this video is not really meant for you. It's meant for a guy like me. I gotta make the video, I gotta make the content, I gotta do these things, and now I gotta put the, the packaging on it, and that's what, you know, has helped with here is photojet.com, super easy, free, you can get upgrades, and, uh, you know, just don't fall in the trap of like, I got a million different clip arts and things on there. Like part of it still falls into taking a really good picture to start out with. And, you know, there's, there's more apps to come. The standard iPhone app, for instance, takes that ratio that doesn't work out really well for a thumbnail. Camera 2 is an app you could download. And we'll go over that sometime down in the future. Like how do you capture the right thumbnails from the get-go so that you can... Uh, you know, cut down on the process. And that's the thing. This is all a process on building, right? So I want to get you something actionable and you can do today and work on your business and make graphics for your website and, and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all of that. But then long term, let's also fix the steps that came before it. So we don't have to do as much tweaking. So we don't have to go, well, I have to crop it. I, you know, one of the worst things is you take the perfect picture going, ah, perfect. And then you get here and you go, oh no, that's not the same ratio as I need it for this type of graphic. And so uh, we can fix that before we run into that problem and that's a different video. So good luck and I hope you're enjoying the content. Look down below for links and stuff like that and watch other videos and uh, we'll see you next Sunday for another one.